thank you. Congratulations, Jamie, and all of the members of Network Now. And um, as Brad said, it's, it really is the small business owners and the entrepreneurs, those who are fearless or fearful, but do anyway, that are going to get the country out of where we are now. But more importantly, fulfill people with happiness. And that's really what it's about. It's about fulfilling your own personal passions and beliefs and living to your fullest potential. And then empowering, most importantly, empowering others to do it too. And I read this amazing quote this past week about collective consciousness, which is exactly what this is that we're talking about and how to make things better and how to constantly evolve and grow. And collective consciousness is really about when you yourself can be the grandest version with the grandest vision of what you could ever be authentically and transparently and by just being you affect the world in a positive way by just being you make other people reflect on who they are and want to be a better person and so anything that you want to achieve in life is really not about you doing it yourself to to achieve that goal but about more importantly making somebody else that person, giving somebody else that dream and goal. If you want to become a famous author, make somebody else a famous author. If you want to become a famous TV personality, try and set people up in that space and place so that they can follow their dream too, and yours in turn will follow with so much more reward and depth. And most importantly, the mantra that I live by and the thing that set me free in my life as an entrepreneur is when I realized one day that I was so afraid of failing that it would stop me from truly following my dreams. I would take my toe out and dip it in the water and I'd step back and be like, whoa, it's kind of scary out there. What if I fail? I'm gonna let myself down. I'm gonna let other people down. They're gonna think badly of me. I don't wanna put it out there too grand yet. And I realized that all these other people were doing their dreams. They were living their dreams. And I opened up Fast Company Magazine and I read about a company who had done something that I had the same exact idea and I didn't do it. And they were the ones who were reaping the rewards, the success, the happiness. They did it. They were the ones with the courage, not just the great idea. There's a lot of great ideas. It's the people that have courage and move with action that get things done. But I realized that day that feeling of regret that sat in my stomach was way worse than any failure I could ever have. And I came with the mantra at that moment that I have more fear of regret than I have of failure. And it set me free to live my life exactly the way I want to. And I learned to be comfortable with being uncomfortable constantly. <laughs> so I don't really know how to make myself that uncomfortable anymore because every day I challenge myself to do something that might make me fearful or might not be exactly a comfortable situation, but it's like a muscle that you keep exercising and it gets easier and easier. So I challenge you all to live your lives with more fear of regret than you have a failure and live your dreams, not just for yourself, but more importantly, for those you inspire around you. Yeah. Thank you.